Uh, this is just a quick tip to uh, show you how you can render out an AR and ambient occlusion pass from uh, Keyshot and Composite Over and Photoshopper. Um, wherever you like to do your compositing. Right, so I've seen set up, you know, this is our, right, say our camera's locked off. You can just uh, over to materials here. Doesn't really matter. But you just drag this uh, soft touch white material on. Add a material, or right, it's already up here. Go to material, and double click it, and here it is here. Now just here under the material type drop down, you just open that rollout and change it to diffuse. This material has the only component that has is a diffuse material, so it's just going to be a flat white, which is exactly what we want. Now over in environment. Um, in Keyshot 5 they've added in you see this all white material or sorry environment um, they've added this in so if we drag this in as our environment it's just a pure ambient white light which is exactly what we want for an ambient occlusion path so uh, in Keyshot 4 and below um, this wasn't included so if you're using any of them all you have to do is create a pure white 2 by one k or 4 by 2 k or whatever, 2 by one k is, is loads, um, a pure white HDR, just create that in Photoshop, um, drop it in here, into your uh, users, documents, keyshot environments, blah blah blah, put your HDR on there or else load it from up here, um, so that's all you need, um, and at the moment, you know, it's, it's very broad, so if you come over here to environment, or sorry, into settings, um, we can lower the gamma and increase the brightness and you can see as we do that we can tighten up our ambient occlusion similar to you might you know you might do it in whatever render you use um, you know increasing the radius and, and all that sort of stuff it's the same sort of idea here so you can mess around with brightness gamma raise the gamma or sorry lower the gamma and raise the brightness and that'll that'll uh, crush the whites and blacks to give you more contrast um, and that's you can see like we're getting some AO here there's some recessed deep recesses in this model so it's going to be quite strong back here and in here where there wouldn't be any light really getting in but you can see you can quickly generate a, a pretty decent AO pass so you'd, you'd let this sit in clean up or render it out with the dedicated render and um, so that's that's basically all you need most important things are just set your material to diffuse white and have your um, HDR as a, a pure white as well and that's it mess around in your settings with the brightness by raising it and the gamma by lowering it um, you can also whop this up here shadow quality or as I say if you're using the dedicated render do it over there but that's pretty much it alright cheers thanks good luck